Oh, guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Shining Fates video. Today, guys, we're looking at a pretty crazy one. This is going to be a Sun Flora Reshi Ram Amazing Rare deck. This deck is very interesting. The idea is we're trying to use solar power, which for Twin Energy lets all of your fire and grass Pokemon have no energy in their attack cost. Technically, that means during your next turn, you can use Amazing Blaze for zero energy. Now, I have tried this combo with Charizard VMAX before, which is... Probably the better version of the deck because Reshiram is a very sturdy Pokemon. If your opponent is able to take a knockout every single turn, it's not looking good. However, we can try to make this work with the Reshiram play. Attacking for free is really good. I am playing a Snivysaur in the deck for the additional support. Having Solar Plant GX could be really useful in the late game. We can do 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. This actually lets you set up knockouts on VMAXs. It also can help you in those matchups like Mad Party and any other low HP based deck. Um... Yeah, that's what we're going to be rocking with today. Um, it's a really interesting deck, and it's... I don't know how good it is, because if your opponent's able to take a prize every turn, the deck can, you know, kind of fall apart. But it's going to be fun to play regardless. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Karkhaven TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Karkhaven. Guys, Karkhaven is selling codes online for the cheapest. If you guys are looking for any set code, whether it be shining fate still if you guys are looking for any other shining fate code products like the etb or you maybe want to get any other set code like vivid voltage or dark blaze get them over at car cabin if you also look for any other code like the adp Zacian battle arena kit code get over at car cabin guys if you get any codes over at car cabin of course guys at the checkout make sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase help the channel help yourself out and about car cabin too so yeah big shout to car cabin guys check them out Make sure you use code LDF if you get any codes over at Card Cabin. All right, let's look at the list. This is what I'm rocking with here. I'm not sure I'm really digging the list too much, to be honest, but this is what I've cooked up for today. Again, Sunflora letting all of your grass and fire Pokemon attack for free next turn is really cool. The only problem with this combo is you do have to use it multiple times. So you have to go solar power once, and then you have to attack, and then you have to go back into Sunflora and do it again. Uh -huh. So it's not ideal, but if we're up against a two prize deck, uh, we can win the game by going solar power a bunch of times and uh, just knocking them out pretty quickly. Um, taking two knockouts with Reshi Ram. VMAXs are a little bit harder because they do have a lot of HP. But any like GX two prize deck or tag team deck is a lot easier to beat. Um, because we just got to knock out two Pokemon to win the game. Um, I am playing a couple Goons. Goon helps you take knockouts because you can, you know, do that extra damage. We also have the ability to combo Goon with Snivy Source Solar Plant Attack, which is also pretty cool. I am playing a Leon in the deck to go with our damage, and we have a Vitality Man, so we have a lot of ways to make Reshi Ram do upwards of, like, 300 plus damage, so that's what we're rocking with here. Um, I am playing a Big Charm, too, to help your Reshi Ram uh, not get knocked out by its attack Amazing Blaze. Uh, we do have Scoop Up Net, though, to kind of heal the Reshi Ram if it somehow lives a turn after we take a knockout. But the big charm is still pretty helpful in the deck, regardless. Um, you can also use it with like Sunflora and a Snivy Sword even is really good too. Giving it 300 HP um, can help a lot. Um, especially now with like Zacian and Rusted Sword Cheese. Got two today and a bat. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I didn't maybe play as many draw cards. Uh, the two prize liabilities are one of the reasons why you can lose the game. Because your opponent cannot get a two prize Pokemon and you fall apart pretty quickly. Um, so that can be a, kind of an issue, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, any other Pokemon? I mean, you could try out any other Grass and Fire Pokemon you want in here. Um, like, again, I think the Charizard VMAX version is a lot better. Um, but if, you know, you want to try out any other Pokemon in this deck, let me know what other Fire and Grass Pokemon you would maybe put in here. Like, a Buzzmosa could be pretty cool with Jet Punch. That could be decent. So, let me know. Um, the items we got Great Ball, Calm, Quick Ball, Rod to get your stuff back. Great Catcher, two boss. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a third boss in all honesty. Um... Got four nets for the goons, four switch. One of the reasons why I'm playing a lot of switch outs, by the way, is because Sunflora, you know, gets stuck, or you need to move it, or you need to move Rush Ram after you attack. If you can't move the Rush Ram, you're kind of stuck. So that's why I'm playing a bit of a heavier switch count. Uh, also, Snivy Sore is another Pokemon that can get stuck in the active. Again, we don't play any other energy, but literally triple and twin for the Sunflora um, to attack. So sometimes stuff can get stuck in the active. I got two U-turn bars to go with that, though. Typical support account, four research, one Marnie. What am I maybe playing more Marnies? To be honest, that would also not be bad. I am playing a Swell, just in case we run to like a Wanderer's Labyrinth or like Black Market or something. Um, then we got just six energy. We only need the uh, Twins and Triples for the Sunflora to attack. Um, that's one of the cool things about it. We don't have to worry about playing three different energy types for Rush Ram. We just have the Twin and Triple. But yeah, that's the list. It's an interesting archetype. Not sure how good it really is because it's kind of, you know, it's a bit of a lower HP based deck, kind of a glass type of cannon type of deck, if you want to call it that. 
We'll see if we can win a game with this deck though. Let's find out. All right guys, here we go. We're gonna try out the Sunflora Reshi Ram Amazing Rare deck. And we'll see if we get to win a game with this deck at all. That's what I'm wondering is can we win with it? We do get a Sunkern start here. Not the worst hand ever. We do not have a supporter though. But other than that, we do have the Sunflora and the uh, Twin Energy. So we have the guaranteed attack assuming Sunkern doesn't get docked. Uh, we just need to draw into... We just need to get a something we can top deck. That works. So, uh, Sunkern should survive, so... I mean, I'll put the Twin on and pass. It's, that might be a bit early to play the Twin Energy because they might have the Crushing Hammer, but we could get Marnied. Um, and that's two Twin Energy at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to make sure Marnie doesn't screw us over here. They might play Crushing Hammer. We'll see. I don't know what they're playing. Um, ooh, it's a Colossal deck, it looks like. It is Colossal. So we can go Solar Power, Boss, the Colossal, and we can knock out this, or we can hit it really hard, then knock it out the following turn. That might have to be the play. We are, uh, we do have some grass types. We could actually use Snivysaur instead. That actually work, would work actually a little bit better. Because we do have Snivysaur here. Um, hopefully it's not prized, but that's assuming we even draw like a supporter. No, didn't get there. All right, here we go. Uh, solar power. I'm going to hold the twin in case they don't knock me out. Like, there's no point of attaching here. I don't know. I don't know. Some floor might live the turn. You know what I mean? Um, they need a colossal energy guru combo. We'll see if they get there. I mean, next turn we can boss the colossal and, you know, hit it really hard, but we can't do much else currently. Yeah, there's the VMAX. I wanted to get the VMAX in play first so we can get those three prizes. Ooh, do they have the knockout? They do have an Oranguru, but do they have the energy in their hand? They got a Crobat. We're not getting Guru here. Let's see what they grab instead. Ooh, they're going to boss my Reshi Ram. Oh no, dude. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Does he have the Colossal Knock? If he doesn't knock me out, we're vibing. No, dude. Capture energy to get Guru. Does he have an energy in his hand? Let's we'll see if he has one. Is a Rodom phone? That's probably going to be the knockout. We need to draw into a Snivysaur here. Yeah, not much, not much we can do. We're, we need to draw a Snivysaur. Here we go. What do we top deck? There we go. That can get us something. We have the Dedene. We have the Snivy Sword on the deck. I did see it, so that's good. Uh, I don't really have to play the Switch, so we're just going to Dedene change. Here we go. Will we get a Pokemon to attack with? We do get somewhere. We get the Reshi Ram. It's not the Snivy Sword, but we have a Scoop Up Net. Didn't get much. We got the Goon and the Vitality Band. We can hit them for 200... I'm actually going to say the Vitality. We might want to use that with Snivysaur because we can do... Um, Snivysaur does 160, which would be 320. Minus 20. So I, I might want to save the band for the uh, Snivysaur. We do have the attack, though. So I think we just hit them here. Yep, we'll just attack them. See where that takes us. They have 80 HP left. Ah! Uh we could KO them potentially with uh, an Ivy Sword. This is going to be a bit of a closer game, guys. Ooh, there's the Crushing Hammer that they play. There's the Tails. That's good. And there's a Research. My opponent is running a very hot. They actually not Marty me. is really interesting. Considering I had a lot of spores in my hand, I'm kind of surprised they're not Marty me there. Right, here we go. Crushing Hammer. That's good heads. That's fine. As long as they don't have another one. Oh, played by Crushing Hammer, bro. It's not about skill anymore. It's about how lucky you can get. All right, so... Promote this, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what we draw. Research. Okay. We'll play the goon. We will... I think I'm going to go bird keeper here. Yeah, I'm going to go bird keeper. Okay, there's the rushy ram. Drop this. Goon ping this. I mean, actually, we could technically knock out the Colossal with Solar Beam. We are doing 80 damage here. 
So yeah, cool. Also get knocked up by Solar Beam, I guess, too. That's also on the table. Um, gotta consider that. If we bench Reshi Ram here, my opponent's probably gonna have a boss in their hand. But they might Marty me too, right? We can always knock them out with Sunflora. As weird as that sounds. We'll bench the Reshi Ram. Just in case. Just in case. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna win this though. We'll see. Because I think we just have to get into a turn where we can knock out the Colossal and one hit with uh, Snivysaur. So if we can do that, we can probably win the game. We'll see. Um, hopefully they don't play a boss. They're probably going to knock out the Reshi Ram, but if they do, we can always kill them with solar power. Ooh, they're going to kill to Dene. All right, that's fine. That speaks up the process of them winning, but we just have to knock out this other Colossal and it's game over. So I still think we can win this. I think we research here. Ooh, nice. How many boss do we have? We got one in the deck. We can grab the Snivysaur now. And bench it. Put a big charm on it. Do we bench the Snivy Sword now or do we wait? I mean... I think... I think we have to bench it. Actually, wait. Hold on. Band on it. How, can we actually knock out the Colossal Snivy Sword? I think we have to do that because we can't afford to give up a prize here. So we're doing 60 minus 20 is 80. Okay, we do have a knockout on the Colossal, I think. Yeah, I think we have to knock out with Solar Dump here because we can't afford to give up a prize this turn. Because, yeah, if we give up a prize here, we have to go Solar Power again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we have to go, we have to go take the KO here with Solar Plant or Forest Dump. Yeah, we have to knock him up a prize here. Um. Okay. Uh. Solar Plant is doing a knockout. I think we do Solar Plant. It is knocking them out because we're doing 60 damage. Minus 20 is 80. Yep, Solar Plant. I like getting the damage on the board. We have to set this thing up to be KO'd anyways in one hit. So, pretty much the only way we're going to win this now is my opponent has to not take a prize this turn. And if they do, we lose. Yeah, if they get a prize this turn, we lose. Because we can't do solar power again because we're... Well, I guess... No, that's not... No, yeah. They, they just have to not take a prize this turn if we're going to win this. We also have to move the Snivy Sword too. We have a lot of switch in the deck, though. I mean, we could win the game by going, like, Jirachi knockout with Goonpings, but... We can't knock another Pokemon out. We have to just hope that we live the turn here. Um... Luckily, this thing can't two-shot me just yet, but I guess they can go G-Max Boulder. Maybe we do lose this then, because Snivysaur takes an Eruption Shot hit, and then they finish it off anyways. So maybe we do lose it. I don't know. This matchup doesn't seem that great, to be honest. Maybe the whole time we should have went Snivysaur instead of Freshy Ram. I don't know. I think we put up a fight. Okay, no research or boss this turn, which is good. Unfortunately, this means they are super close to getting their boss next turn. There's a lucky crushing hammerheads. Love to see it. Now we have to get a switch and an energy. Um, yeah, I know. I do think we lose, right? They hit me for 130. They boss G Max Boulder me next turn. So we lost. Great. Yeah, we lost. We can't win this. Just to think about it. We can't win this. We can bench the Crobat here. Um, I mean, we do need to get a switch out. If we bench Crobat, though, well, no matter what, they need an energy to win the game, right? Energy boss wins in the game no matter what, so we can bench Crobat. We need to try to get into a play here. Nope. Yeah, they win with an energy boss anyways, right? Because they just go G-Max Boulder on me, on my Snivy Sword. We whipped the switch. Yeah, that's game over. We came close. We tried. We tried. We came very close. Maybe we should have used Snivy Sword instead of Reshi Ram there. Um, I don't think we saw a Quick Ball, though, until we had to use it to get a draw Pokemon, though. Um, but we tried. We tried. Okay, let's get another match here. I have thrown in a Marnie, and I've thrown in a Calm. I cut a Great Ball for a Calm. One thing I find in this deck is I am drawing kind of poorly, so I threw in some extra draw supporters to maybe help me draw a little bit better. Um... 
because I, I don't want to keep getting, you know, starts where I'm just like, just drawing like trash. So just up the consistency a little bit. See how it goes. We do get a goon start in a Sunkern. Not a bad start. We have a decent hand here. We'll see what we're up against. We want to be seeing tag teams and VMAXs. And if it's a single prize deck, we can try to use Snivy Sore maybe. We'll see how things go here. We'll see what my opponent's playing here. That's a Snorlax. That's not cool. Right, will you turn board pass, I guess? We could go to Dene. We probably should have, to be honest. I don't know what we're playing against, though. It's the only problem. I don't know what we're up against here. We'll see what they're playing. Another Snorlax coming down. Okay, they are going to Marnie me, which kind of sucks because we do lose this hand. But it's not the... That wasn't... Honestly, this hand was kind of bad anyways. Having a bench to Dene to draw cards wasn't ideal. Okay, there we go. This, this hand's a lot better. A lot better. And this is a Gourmandize. Okay, I wish I knew what I was playing against. Hopefully they're playing two prizers, but judging from the Snorlax, I don't know. Fail that. Here we go. Will we find energy? We do not. Oh my gosh. What is this? All right, I'm going to pass again. I'm not going to do anything. I, yeah, definitely not trying to research away three researches and a Dedene. No thank you. Thank you, game, for the good hand. I love it. There we go. They marnie me again. Perfect. We are pretty much support to the bottom of the deck, though, but it's better than whatever the hell this hand was. All right. How are we looking here? We probably have the Dedene again. I don't like benching all these two prizers, not gonna lie. What are they playing? Ooh, they're playing Primal Flygon. Interesting. Okay. How do we beat Primal Flygon? Well, Goonping actually is kind of good here. Okay. Yeah, the goons are really good here. So, we can go... We cannot get their trap inch next turn if we can get a we'd have to go snivy sore. We could just solar power. Honestly, guys, my game plan, I I just keep spamming solar power every single turn until they take the first knockout. I kind of like that because this will just kind of be a race to see who gets the first prize. But we could just keep doing solar power over and over again. We could even solar beam the Snorlax. I kind of like that. Right? We want to bait them into a Flygon. They could go with the baby Flygon, though, which is kind of an issue. We can boss or Trap Inch, though, and knock it out with Solar Beam, which I think I'm going to do. Nice. Oh, we can just knock this out. All right, cool. I guess in that regard, I'll bench this, then. We'll just boss the Trap Inch. Knocking out with Solar Beam. Who would have thought that would ever happen? Yeah, I think we'll just keep Sunfloor in the active. We'll just keep doing Solar Beam until they get a Flygon in play. Now, hopefully it's not the baby Flygon. We do have a Stadium in play. Well, that thing can be a bit of a headache. Um, if they ever put the Flygon GX in play, we do have... We have ways to one-shot it. Now, depending on how many Stone Energies they put on it, it would be a little hard to kill with Reshiram and even... Even Snivysaur. We also might have the play where we can maybe knock out Trap Pinches with... Uh, with... Uh, Snivysaur. Maybe we actually could have went Snivysaur last turn and knocked out both trap pinches, but we would have needed to do goon twice. And I don't know if we were going to be able to pull off a double goon there. I don't really like having the swell in play now uh, because, again, baby Flygon kind of or, kind of scares me. Kind of scares me. But yeah, we can just keep doing solar power every turn if we have to. I kind of like that. Because we need... Yeah, once they knock me out, we need to have a turn where we're attacking them. So we'll just do another solar power here. What do we top deck? Okay. Bird Keeper. Got some nets. Can net the goon. Get the U-turn bar back. Lay the goon down. Probably just ping the Vibrava to get damage on it. And it's just solar power. You now just keep doing solar power. Every single turn we're going to do solar power until some floor gets knocked out. It would be nice if I had a draw supporter. I, again, I'm not trying to mention a Dene in a matchup like Flygon. But we'll see. We'll hold the U-turn board, by the way. They, they could boss my Crobat. Um, so we're just going to save the U-turn board in case they do that. All right, we'll see what they got here. Energy on the Trap Pinch. There's the Calm. Probably another Vibrava. Yeah. 
I mean, if we can get enough plays here, we could knock out the Vibravas here with us with the Snivy Sword. That would be pretty good. But then we have a three prize liability in play, but they're very far behind if if, if we get that knockout. We'll see if that happens. They have 70 HP each. Not too hard. We're doing 50 damage though. Maybe, maybe it's not not possible. Oh, we can go net. Bench. Ping. We need to do this three more times. We gotta go one here, three here. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, we'll just keep doing solar power. We'll just keep clicking solar power. I mean, I want to draw a supporter to go with this play. It'd be greatly appreciated game if you can give me a draw supporter at any time now. I don't want to play Dedenne, but whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna keep damaging the Vibrava. I'm actually surprised they put the energy there, not on the Vibrava with no damage on it. What I would have done. There's a bird keeper. They're going to the other Snorlax. All right. They're committed to their gourmand eyes. Okay, what do we draw? That's a Dedenne. Uh, we can get another Sunflora down, which I'm going to do. Do we have the Snivy Soar? I think I saw it. Yeah, we do. It's in there. Yeah, we don't have to do it. We have to save it. It's not worth it right now. We could Solar Beam this for 80, because then it sets up for that uh, knockout with Snivy Soar. But they could play Net. And then we break our solar power, and then we can't attack them. Um, so it's not a good idea to do that, right? We just got to keep doing solar power until they make the first move. They have less cards than I do, so we can win them. We can win the prize race here. If they decide to just not take a prize for some reason, we can literally win. Again, baby Flygon is really bad. I wish I didn't put the swell in play. Maybe my opponent will bump the stadium, though, and put a uh, dojo in play. That's what I'm hoping they do. Really hoping they bump the stadium here and put a dojo in play. I doubt that'll happen, though. But if that's what I'm hoping for. That baby Flygon is kind of bad. Actually, that thing prevent my Sunflora from retreating too, which means we'd have to whip a Bird Keeper. Solar Power. Still wish this game would, you know, would give me a draw supporter. That would be great. Again, not to trying to bench a Dedenne in this matchup because my opponent can win the game by going boss, boss. Don't want that to happen. Please give me a Dedenne. Or a supporter. There we go. We got a bird keeper. Um, solar power it is. I mean, they could Marnie my hand away, but whatever. We should big charm the... Uh, eh, it doesn't matter where I put the big charm, actually. We, I guess we big charm the rush ram, I guess. So they can't one-shot me. Again, I want them to do something here. There's a Flygon. So gonna, it looks like they're finally going to play aggressive here, which is good. Okay, they're gonna knock on my Sunflora, which is even better because I'm not gonna know this. How much HP do they have? They have a lot. Can we knock him out with Snivy Sore? We can. Okay. Alright, let me think for a sec. Okay, now we don't have to worry about Baby Flygon anymore. Even better. But then they can put a Dojo in play. If we knock them out, they can knock on my Snivy Sore. Hmm. Well, let's see what we draw. Honestly, I kind of wish I bird keepered last turn because having Leon here would be pretty good. We don't one shot the Flygon. It has 280 HP right now. Because it has minus 30, so that's 270 plus the stone. Oh no, it has 290 HP. We have to go Goonping Vitality Band knockout. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, folks. We could just take the Snivy Sword knockout here. We lose if they do that. Because then they knock me out with another Flygon. Yeah, that's not going to work out. We have a ban. We have the Goon. Got to try to take it. If we don't take it, we can always finish it off with uh, Snivy Source GX attack. So it's theoretically not the end of the world if we do with the attack here. Or Knockout, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Net again. Yeah, we can always finish it off with Snivy Sore. I'm going to quick ball here for a, another Sunkern. Okay. 
We'll just take our attack. Oh, that knocks him out? Wait, what? Uh, what? I'm getting... What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, that makes sense. I'm, I didn't realize I had the knockout. I did the math wrong in my head there. All right, that works out. That works out. Yeah, I did the math wrong. For some reason, I thought we were actually 20 short on the KO there. Lol. Yeah, I thought we were short on the knockout. I'm a dummy. We're not knocked. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Now, can we still lose this game? Possibly. Still have a bit of a long way to go to win this because we still have a Crobat in play. If they don't take a prize this turn, we probably win the game. If they do take a prize, we're done for. We'll see, though. They do need to get another Trap Pinch set up, so we'll see. We'll see. We can always maybe, if they ever have a Trap Pinch in play, we can always try to win with that Solar Plant play. Because we have to knock out Flygon, and we have to knock out something else. So it could be a little tough. We'll see how it goes. Still wish I had a draw supporter right now that was Research or Marnie. Because, again, I'm not trying to bench the Dene. Uh, I don't want my opponent to go boss boss. Oh, now we have to go through a Flygon with two energies on it. But we can go with the uh, Snivy Sword play here. Let's see if they get a Trap Pinch down. See what happens here. They could boss my Crobat this turn, too. No, they rose it, right? Did they rose it? I can't remember what they did. Nice. Okay, just a knockout. They're not going to get Trap Inch down either, which is really good. Really, really good. We just go uh, bring this in. Can we draw Marnie? Leon. Hmm. So they're going to boss my Crobat here, right? This is why I want a Marnie. We could to Dene and try to get Marnie. We might have to. Oh, I really don't want to do that, though. We'll play the Rod. I kind of want to Rod get back some uh, stuff here. Yeah, I really don't want a Marnie. I don't want to play to Dene down, but... This game just is not giving me my draw supporters. We had like four turns where we were just not doing anything. That's kind of frustrating. How many nets do we have left? We have one left. I mean, we could just wait a turn. I do want to get... Well, we have one Marnie. I don't think we'll get off the Dene. I do think we just go solar power here. We'll have to Dedene next turn. They're going to boss my Crobat here and knock it out most likely. I probably should have saved the Calm actually for another... We maybe should have saved Calm so we can grab Snivy Sword instead of getting another Sunflora. Right? Yeah, I probably should have done that. I think we're going to go Snivy Sword here. We could even go Reshiram and maybe knock this out. It does have... No, they have 300 HP. Okay, yeah. And we'd have to... We could go... Oh, no, because we could have went Leon Reshiram. Okay, we should have saved the Pokecom for our main attacker. That was a misplay. I don't know why I didn't do that. I think it was because I was thinking about doing the Dedene play there, but I didn't do it at the last minute. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. Okay, as long as we don't whiff a supporter. We have four researches. We still have bird keepers, too. There we go. There's our stuff. Beautiful. There's a trap pinch. How many energy are they down, though? Only four? They have a... I mean, not a big hand. They don't have a draw engine, Dedene or Crobat. They could whip the energy here. And they do. Nice. All right. This game should be about wrapped up, especially because they didn't boss my Crobat. I'm very surprised they didn't boss Crobat. They had a massive hand. I don't know where their bosses were, but I'm vibing. Bruh, no, I don't want to lose all of my researches. What is this, dude? What is this? Big bra moment. Do we drop the goon? Nah. We'll keep the bed spot open. We don't need Goon anymore. All right. Here we go. What do we draw? Okay. We do 320. We'll hold the hand. Just knock him out. Okay. We're in a good spot right now. We're in a good spot. We should be able to win in a couple turns here if all goes well. Uh, another energy is good. Some flora. Okay. I was gonna play the Great Ball, but if they do play a reset stamp, which I don't know if they do, I most sun most flygon decks don't. But I don't want to get stamped into a bad hand, right? I don't want to have an out for a Dedenic, because we literally just had to research away three of our researches. 
The game's like, yo, I heard you can't find your draw supporter. Well, here you go. But, oh, we'll give you three of them at once. So you have to get rid of all of them. Major Keck Ws. So we can't win by going solar plane. We have to just win with a boss. Do we have boss still? We have one in the discard. There's just one in the deck, I'm pretty sure. It's gonna be a very close game though, guys. Snivysaur is also now in play, which means it can get knocked out. Um, they could actually just win next turn, to be honest. Well, they are down two Flygon GXs. Maybe they don't have another Flygon. But they can win next turn, technically. We'll see. Eh, play the Bird Keeper. We have to draw cards. Okay. Play this. I'm drawing everything at one. Um, do we have Big Charm in the deck? No, we don't. Big Charm on the Snivy Sword would be good here. All right. My opponent didn't do Gormandize, which is interesting. I'm just going to Solar Power. Very interesting to go Gormandize. Unless their hand is literally Flygon Energy Dojo Boss, which can't happen. So we're vibing. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do Gourmandize last turn. Oh, no, because we probably just win if we do that. Okay, never mind, never mind. That makes sense. That, ma that makes sense why they didn't do Gourmandize. I mean, still, they're not working with much. Their hand is very small. So, we just got to find boss to win this. I can't even... I don't even remember if it's in the deck or not. There's no way to look. This hand is so... What the heck, bro? This is one of those hands where you're like, bruh. Okay. Put that there. We will. I mean, we can dead a change and rip the boss and win the game. Because we just got to knock out a Snorlax. I don't know if the boss is in the deck or not. I mean, we can go for the Dedenne, though. I think it's fine. We do lose, like, all of our Switch, though, which is pretty funny. Uh, we have one Bird Keeper left, so we'll go for it. We can win this if we hit boss here. Yes, I'm sure, game. I'm sure. We didn't get the boss. We got a Marnie, though. I guess we can see if it's in the deck. It is in there. All right, it's there. So we are guaranteed it then. So we go Marnie. We're guaranteed the boss for next turn. Yep, there it is. We have Great Catcher, too. So they evolve into Primal Flygon. Right, solar Power. This was a very weird game. My opponent could technically boss a Dedenne or something because we did just put a U-turn at, at the bottom of the deck. This was a weird game, though, guys. This was a very, very weird game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This game was really weird. Ooh, Tool Scrapper. Does that ever make a difference? Actually, that helps me because I get the U-turn board back. So if they do try to boss me, I have a free pivot option. Can they win this turn? They still can. They could have Flygon Dojo boss in their hand. But they would need that specifically, and it's very low chances. Okay, they Bird Keeper. I mean, they they haven't played a boss yet. Oh, they do play a Reset Stamp. No way. What? They actually play a Reset Stamp? Bruh, no, dude. Why do they play a Stamp, dude? No. Oh my gosh, we might actually lose this game. We might actually lose this because they play a Reset Stamp. Dude, no way. Most Primal Flygon lists do not play a reset stamp. I just assumed they didn't have it. And they do have it. This man's playing the anti Sun Flora deck. No, dude. Oh, we might actually lose this because we can't go Snivysaur here and boss. And they can still win if they go Dojo Flygon. I just assumed they didn't have it. I mean, they haven't played a boss yet, which is kind of weird. Boss. Oh, come on, game. We're so close. We're so close. We just need to find the boss. We have seven, one in a, one in seven chance. I mean, I don't know. I can't believe they just stamped me. I actually can't believe this guy plays a stamp in his list. All right, come on, top deck one time. Nope, that's not it. Come on, game. Give me the stupid boss. Come on, before I don't want him to win. Come on, we're so close. We're so, so close. <laughs> the finish line is right there. No, we lost. He got the flag on. Is it even in the deck? Oh, it's not. Wait, do we win then? Hold on. Do we win? There's the boss. That's game, right? We go retreat. 
boss? Force dump. What? What just happened, dude? That was really weird. I gotta take a peek at his list. I need to see this. Did he... Where's the boss? He had two in the deck. He had one Flygon. And he had a Great Catcher. So he actually had three Gust cards that he could have used on my Snivysaur. How many dojos? Two. Maybe his last dojo was prized. That was a weird game, guys. That was a really weird game. Hey, guys, I'm going to wrap the day's PDCGO video here. I got a lot of work I got to do today. I don't really have a lot of time to record any more matches. But I think that last game against Flygon there was a really exciting game. Very close. That reset stamp kind of got me. We'll open up a couple packs here. See if we pull. We get nothing. All right, we'll open up one more. Um, but overall, uh, the deck's cool, I guess. I don't know if I like it more than the Charizard build. Um, if you guys want me to revisit the Charizard build, I uh, will open up one more. If you guys want me to revisit the Charizard build, uh, let me know in, in the comments and leave a like in the video. Guys, I don't know. If you guys want me to revisit that Charizard BMAX on floor deck, I am glad to do it. We got a new black, you know, shiny Charizard. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, there's a shiny. All right, there we go. Yeah, if you guys want me to revisit the Charizard, let me know. Uh, overall, yeah, the deck feels fine. It's not terrible. It's cool. Um, any change I would make to it would probably be to add more draw supporters because I had a lot of weird moments. I, you could probably could cut like a switch and play like an extra Marnie. Um, you could also maybe play like, uh, you could maybe play like an extra, um, a, another grass Pokemon. Again, there's a lot of other Pokemon you can play in here. Let me know what you guys would change about this deck down in the comments. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's P-Show Shining Fates video. If you guys did, make sure to slap a like on it. If you guys are enjoying the Shining Fates content, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated if you left the like on the video. Sub down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 15,000 subscribers. Um, check out Car Crime down below. Check out my Twitch down below. Twitch.tv slash Uh, you can check out my Patreon if you guys want to pledge $2 a month. Take access to exclusive content. That'll be it for me, guys. See you guys tomorrow for another PCGO video. Have a good day.